All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing some Master Yi in the mid lane, and we're running Hail Blade, Sun Impact, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Bone Plating, and Overgrowth. We're going to be doing a build I haven't done in a while. We're going to do a full lethality of a Dusk Blade, so I go invisible, get resets and kills. We're going to see if it still works, because they've changed E quite a bit since I've last done it. But we're against a Zed. He's also going to do a lot of damage, but I'm thinking I can just pop my W and block a lot of the damage when he alts. Ouch. You gotta hit him back a little bit if he pops the bone plating. Normally he's played in the jungle. You can play him mid though, although I really don't see too many Yi mids anymore. Ouch. Let's see, all I have is a refill. He got three potions. Q really didn't do that much there. The minions, at least. I want to keep my health full, though. Because if we ever get in an all-in, I'm going to need it. Maybe dodge that. He's got to go for this cannon. Oh, wow. He let it go. It did get a kill to invade. But Zed only got an assist, so that's good. Not my cannon. I'm trying to think of how we beat him in a fight. I guess a gank might be the only way. Okay. I blocked some damage there. We just probably need to focus on the farm more than actually trying to kill him, but... He's not playing too aggressive, so I think I can stay alive and just chill. I can use my Q to dodge stuff, W to tank. Observe. If I go in with Q, I have to do it when he throws his shadow forward, because otherwise he's just going to run away. good trade as long as I don't get hit by that rip I still have one sip of potion one cut of many. we're winning in CS because we're tied and I have a bigger wave his six is a little bit better than mine though See, 32, 28, we're up four. Oh, I'll just heal up. With my W. Wait, my Meditate's already back up. Huh, they must have lowered the cooldown of that by a lot. Interesting. Oh yeah, I do have the uh, the longer attack range too. I'm probably gonna need to go armor boots as my boots, unless it's an AP twitch too. I just can't reach him. Oh, yeah, Meditate's on really low cooldown. Just gotta play this super slow. 
This will be a harsh lesson. Belveth is running the other way. What the hell happened to him? Where's my bot lane? Okay, not the worst. I could have killed Jax, I think, if Nico wasn't there. Okay, so it consumes more mana now. It didn't seem that bad, though. I kind of want to go Collector before uh, Duskblade. I think it might be better. If I get a lucky crit... I gotta get back mid quick, though. Yeah, Meditate does consume a lot of max mana. We're gonna miss the cannon. He just uses W, though. Almost max rank Q. I just, I can't Q him to proc the, uh, the first strike unless I hit a minion like that. I guess that's the way to do it, because he can reach me with his Q before I hit anything with the, uh, my Q. Or I'm in range. At least I can pick where I end. That's doing some good poke to him, actually. But it is very long cooldown. Okay, that was a really good trade. Use W for an auto reset too. If he doesn't base here, I could probably kill him. I don't think Belveth can gank. Oh, Kate's here with ult. Okay. She doesn't have enough mana though. A little bit of synergy there. Good Kate ult. Yeah, the Kate ult wouldn't have killed him alone, and neither would have my flash Q. They together is what got him killed. Okay, I've collector. I want to max second. 80 health on W really doesn't sound that bad, but I mean, he's not poking me too much anymore. I'll go this, but I might throw an extra point in this W. Although we're we're mainly going to be using it for an auto reset, it is definitely good at saving us. Yeah, if I use it like instantly when he bursts, I take 90% reduced damage. I got hit. At least bone plating blocks some of it. I just have to be really careful when I go in because if I Q in and Jax is here and I don't have flash, I'm dead. But I just saw Jax top. This guy's pretty scared of me now. Let's see. I'm good. What is their bot lane building? Is that Blade of the Rune King Twitch? And it's an on-hit Nico, I think a Nasher's Tooth. An enemy has been slain. I don't know where Zed just went. He's roaming bot. Probably wants revenge on that Kate. Let's see. I'll do damage first Nar, I think. It yeah, really only Jax is the one I can't deal with, so... Having two kills like this is fine. I just need to keep farming. I don't need to keep getting kills. Unless... You don't do damage to me. Because I'm going to be a, a monster once I hit two, three items. I don't think I could stop that. Enemy killing spree. 
I could try and roam about. The problem is I don't have boots, so I'm a turtle. Is the greatest enemy. Sneaky, sneaky. But they are pushed up pretty far. I think they just saw me because they backed up. They left. We just use shadow. One cut of oh, I used W for an auto reset there. Wait, I could probably beat this guy. Oh, I messed up my auto reset. Damn it, man. I messed up the auto reset. It didn't reset it. He just does a little bit more damage than me. Um, Let's do armor boots. We got to get around the map. Or can we do... Now nah, we got to do armor boots. I shouldn't have fought that, I guess. Come on, Belveth. Get him. Yeah. Okay, that's good. She got a shutdown. I just, uh, I don't have enough attack speed for 1v1 like that. Even though I had ult from the reset from Zed, I was just attacking too slow. This build is more bursty, not a sustained fight. If I had, um, lethal tempo, sure, I'd probably win that. But yeah, I, I screwed up my W auto reset too. At least we're doing well versus Zed though. That's all I'm worried about. I don't think I got a crit verse Jax either. There he is. We just needed the right fight and I run through them all. Ooh, twist. Oh my god, way word. I got the lucky crit on him that time. I'll take it. Collector just popped the fuck off there and got me 75 extra gold. That was really good. Dude, that Jax died so fast, I was not expecting that. But then I didn't get any crits after that. But I only have a 20% chance, so only 1 in 5 autos should crit. Okay. That was good. I think I sell this for this. Once I have a uh, dusk blade, I go invisible in fights, and it's so hard for them to keep track of me. The focus mind can pierce through stone. Here. Ooh, Sedge is TPing in. Nice, secured her, uh... Oh, grabbing of the jacks. Ooh. He probably has, uh, Alpha? Oh my god, wait! <laughs> I think I crit there. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Lethality Yi definitely still works. I like his new auto reset because I think when you reset with W, it gives you the, your double strike. At least it gives you stacks towards your double strike, I think. Oh, I need more money. I should have farmed bot. Ruin King, best for duels. Collector surprising. Well, Collector gives lethality. I want lethality. You could slap a Blade of the Ruin King on this build. be good, too. Oh, Zed's going armor. Oh, yeah, I want to do a lethality build with burst, but the reason I like Collector is because it gives that crit. Crit mixed with lethality is really dangerous. I think only Nico is down here. Okay, we have a uh, Duskblade 
And then, what should I go next? Doubt is hmm. the greatest enemy. I think I might go Edge of Night for the Spell Shield, or... I, could get, I don't think I need a Blade of the Rune King. I'll actually still kill them. Yoink. Oh my god, just my first auto after... Uh, She's gonna die to poison? Nope, she's gonna live. My first auto after Alpha Strike did so much. There's no turret. I still have a lot of ult. I'm dead. Or am I? I'm dead. <laughs> I wanted the uh, ultimate hunter stack. I don't think I killed him before. Maybe I did. Ghostplay would be good for running down. But the thing is, like, that fight went so well because somebody was low. If my team can get somebody low and then I go in, I just am a reset machine. I'm going to do a super secret item combination. I'm going to do an Edge of Night into a Death Stance. And that will make me essentially unkillable. What the heck is he building? Is he building a Randuin's on Zed just so I can't crit him? Infinity Edge, we, we only have 20% crit. I realize we're not gonna get more crit chance this game. I could actually do, um, shoot. I could do Lord Doms into IE. How about I do Edge of Night, Lord Doms, IE, just so we have the one shots. But we'll see. I might need to go the beefy build. The death stance uh, I will show you the path. is going to be a lot safer. But we don't like being safe, do we? We like dangerous fun. I'll get the infinity edge for you guys. I'll go the edge of night. So I'll go edge of night, death stance, infinity edge. And that'll give me 60% crit with one shots. The Edge of Night just saves me from getting stunned right away and getting blown up. If she can survive, I'm up here. A lot of them, though. The thing is, as a Yi, I can't go in first. I can, but I'm not making that out of the fight. I would die. There we go. Down they go. We get a turret up here. This turret's taking no damage. Look at them all go. Essence Reaver. Essence Reaver is good for burst. I mean, I built this. I have to go, uh, this'll be good. This saves me from Jack Stun, Nico Root. This Ultimate Hunter is nice. It's up every time I fight. gonna wait on the sidelines till somebody gets low. Zed's not at this fight. But they did chunk down Sedge, but uh... Uh, don't mind me, sir. Just walking through. I want to fight him, but if I Q in, he might jump under turret and then I'll die. Oh, uh, we got an enemy split pushing in the top lane. I feel like I could dive her. Does she have hourglass? No hourglass? 
But the thing is, if she pops her R as soon as I go in, I won't have my Q to dodge. Oh, shit. Wait, that's not my teammate. I'm going back in. Oh, he didn't die. Uh-oh. Gotta get the jacks, lads. Oh, nice. Run. What are you doing, melee range, Caitlyn? You have such long-range spells. You don't need to walk under them. All right, let's do... I want more crit. I think... Did I get exhausted? They don't have exhaust. I guess I was just slowed. I don't know. Hey, and now we got 15% more crit chance. I just need them lucky crits when they get low. But Jax is uh, pretty tanky there with his ult. Oh, he's going Thornmail too. Well, good thing we're going Lord Doms, actually, because they're stacking armor. Oh, we have a full AD team. No wonder. I will be okay. Stacking armor is not nearly as OP as stacking uh, magic resist. Also, I have true damage. But if this is going to turn into them huddling as five, it, it might be hard for me to go in. I'll just wait. Need somebody to clear top. Spell shield. Hooray. Yeah, my team's uh, pushing bots, so we get a turret if they don't react. I mean, we just need to not die mid right now and lose Baron. Oh, Twitch is actually kind of strong. Their 5v5 might be better than ours. I really do kind of need to focus Twitch. They're all top. Oh no, Twitch is bomb. Hmm. I did not know Nar was there too, that was my bad. The Jax is really strong, he has a thorn mail. Need Lord Doms. It's gonna be really hard to deal with, but Beldeth has Blade of the Ring King Kraken, so never mind. She got some damage. I CC'd for three seconds there, unfortunately. Jax just counters me so hard because one, even when I'm hitting him, when he doesn't have his Counter Strike up, I'm dying to his Thorn Mail. And two, he has Counter Strike, which blocks all my autos. Twitch and Nico are going up. Sona's gonna get caught in this. Wish there were hex gates. They're in here. Or not. Okay. I think I need to like try and split in the side lane because a 5v5 is just too hard. I have a feeling Zed's not alone. I mean, he wasn't taking any damage there, but he also wasn't dealing any damage. Do I have Lord Doms? No. Oh, they're on Baron. Go. If they're committing this, it's probably low. That's oh, not that low. Nice zone. 
Good. Needs to die though. There we go. He still has his all. Oh, spell shield. See? Edge of Night, OP, and a lucky crit. Let's go. Oh, there's a mountain soul up too. I'm going to go straight to that. Zed's up. Uh, he might try to fight me here or steal it. I don't attack fast at all. This is uh, it's kind of scary. I just have to hope he doesn't come here. But he disappeared from it. Okay, I'm just alting. I need to get this. This is too slow. It took forever. I'm so glad he didn't check. Now I have a shield. Hooray. Okay. So this will give me some of the damage I lost back to them stacking armor. And then we go Infinity Edge next to get some big crits. Yeah, if I would have went the death stance, actually, I wouldn't do any damage versus him. He's getting a frozen heart, too. Holy cow. I'm really not as worried, though. If, if we were 5 AP, I would be worried, because then it'd be game over. But AD items are a lot more OP than AP items. I did ban Ramus, though. If you're going to play Yi, you should probably ban Ramus. I'm going long. Oh, I got rooted. Damn. She flash rooted me. Or I wanted to flash over the root. That was my bad. Uh -oh. Wait, what the hell? I didn't know he was able to get all that. I need more crit. That's my bad. I played that one poorly. I should have flashed over the root and just killed the Twitch. Okay, he didn't get our inhib at least. The Jax just kind of took forever to die. Okay, I still have my flash though. So what I'm going to do is I wait. When Twitch opens up with his ult in a fight and pops out of nowhere, I'm going to flash on him and burst him. Flash Q auto should kill Twitch pretty much if I get a crit. I'm coming. They probably have vision. I'm adding 126 true damage on hit. I don't care about the pink. My team needs me. Is it Jax? And you can't hit me. Nice. And there it is. GG. Yeah, we just have to play the fights like that. We wait. Wait for somebody to go in. Somebody to get low. Get unlimited ult, basically. But yeah, we just had to work on taking out that witch so he doesn't gun down the team. But a pretty solid Yi game. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. We did 32k damage. How much true damage? 11k true damage ain't too bad. We autoed slower with this build, but they did more damage. But I, I'd say lethality Yi is still pretty decent. I killed the Twitch like instantly every time I got on him.
So an impact gave us 900 more damage. This gave us a little tanky stats. I would have taken something else than bone plating overgrowth if I wasn't against the Zed, but we definitely had to play safe versus him because a person who gets kills first in that lane kind of wins. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you later. Peace.